What's up guys, JV2017 here and I'm bringing you a new Fallout 4 tips and tricks video. And today I'm going to show you how to unlock and use the Ballistic Weave Armor Mod, which will modify some of your armor pieces to give you the highest resistances possible without being in power armor. Of course, if you're in power armor, you're going to get higher than this, but this is the best you can get outside of power armor. So you'll need to do plenty of side quests for the railroad, that's how you do this essentially, but fortunately you do not have to side with them, and none of your actions in getting the Ballistic Weave will adversely affect your standing with another faction, which is great news. So this means you can potentially do this on every single playthrough, no matter who you plan to side with. So without further ado, let's look at the quests you'll need to complete. First, you'll need to have met the railroad, and that requires you doing the Road to Freedom quest, which is pretty much just finding them. So you can go straight to the Old North Church. You don't have to actually get this quest in order to meet the railroad. There's no requirement, you know, in terms of the story for actually meeting them. So you can actually just go straight from Sanctuary to the Old North Church, which is on the northern edge of kind of the central kind of island. It's not really an island, but you know what I mean, the central downtown area and punch in kind of the railroad code and then meet Desdemona and Deacon for the first time. Once you've agreed to help the railroad, that sends you on a chain of quests that you have to complete in order to get the Ballistic Weave mod. So first off is Tradecraft, and this is with Deacon. It involves synths, of course, and going into like a safe house and taking either an ambush route or a sneaky route. I recommend that you guys take the sneaky route, it's a lot easier. You also get the deliverer when you're doing this quest, but it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm not really giving you a walkthrough of the quest. But once you've done that, you'll return back to the railroad and they're actually gonna let you inside to the HQ. And at that point, you wanna talk to Dr. Carrington. And that's the whole point of Tradecraft, was to get something for him. So your quest marker will lead you to him inevitably. And once you talk to him, he'll give you the quest Boston After Dark. This will require you to do some more errand running and you're gonna save a synth and escort him to a safe house. It doesn't take that terribly long, but a lot of this is errand running. I just wanna let you guys know that in advance. So once you've done that, you're gonna come back and then you're gonna go and talk to Pam, which is the Assaultron in the Railroad HQ. And then she'll give you the quest Mercer Safe House, where you have to secure a safe house for the railroad and upon reading about this quest apparently it sends you to random locations but i got sent to sunshine tidings co-op which is south of sanctuary and so that wasn't too much of an issue you just have to clear the area make some defenses for it and then go back to pam now once you've done that she'll give you the final mission that you have to do in order to unlock this armor mod and that's jackpot medford memorial hospital and so for this one you just have to go to a hospital and find a dead drop which is just kind of like a hidden wall with you know a chest and all that all you have to do is literally hit the hidden wall and then you can leave and there are some super mutants you'll have to deal with at that hospital but once you're done with that you can return to pam and the hq after turning in the jackpot you'll need to go and find somebody named the drummer boy who is inside of the hq he's not too hard to find he's got brown hair he's a brunette and he's got kind of this blue railroad getup. and once you talk to him he'll give you some kind of random dialogue that says something along the lines of go talk to tinker tom he found something interesting in that dia cache and so you'll need to find tinker tom who's kind of around his computer area but if it's nighttime he'll be sleeping on the floor so just keep that in mind if you can't find him he might be sleeping somewhere so Talking to Tinker Tom is what you need to do to unlock the Ballistic Weave Armor Mod. It's kind of confusing because you'll need to have a certain dialogue with him. If you've never talked to him before, he'll have this random dialogue with Dr. Carrington or he'll say something else. The thing is you need him to say something along the lines of, wow, you found something really cool in that DIA cache and you know, here it is, and it's the Ballistic Weave Armor Mod. However, nothing in the game is gonna tell you that you have it. You have to listen to Tinker Tom, and once he tells you that, it is unlocked, and you can assume that it's unlocked after that point. Overall, I would say this process takes about two to three hours, especially if you haven't discovered anything. The first Tradecraft mission is quite lengthy with Deacon. It could take 45 minutes to an hour just on its own, and then everything else is a lot of errand running, like I said. And so it could take you around three hours if you haven't discovered anything and you're just doing this from the beginning, just giving you guys a heads up. Once you've had that conversation with Tinker Tom, you can go to any weapon bench and you'll have the Ballistic Weave Armor Mod available. So there are five ranks of the Ballistic Weave, and of course you'll need different levels of armor to get to them. However, it's great that the first rank you actually don't need armor at all. So 
essentially you can do this early in the game and you know as long as you can handle all of the missions and all the killing and whatnot and you can still have plus 30 damage resistance and energy resistance on you know whichever piece of armor you're able to put this on very early in the game so you know don't be discouraged by the fact that you need you know level 39 to get the maximum amount of ballistic weave which will give you 110 damage resistance and energy resistance you can still do this early in the game and still get some stuff out of it as well but you will need that armor perk and you know subsequent ranks in order to unlock the higher versions of the ballistic weave armor in terms of materials required you'll need three things you'll need adhesive ballistic fiber and fiberglass and i would say adhesive and fiberglass are not too difficult to find they're pretty abundant out in the world however ballistic fiber is something you're going to have to you know actually go out and get unless you get lucky and stumble across it so you'll find ballistic fiber in military items so military grade duct tape military ammo bag a few other things here and there but those are the main things that you'll find ballistic fiber from also you could just buy it from shipments so Clio at Good Neighbor, Tegan on the Pridwin, and then of course Lucas Miller, the traveling trader. You can find him, I believe, at Ten Pine Bluffs is one of the places he goes, and also Bunker Hill. You can find it at all of those. They have shipments, so you can just buy them. They are very expensive, so you know, be prepared for that. Additionally, you can only put this on certain items. So you can't put this on all of your armor. So you can only put it on certain hats. One of them is the battered fedora. That's the one that I always go for and the one that I used in my stream on Twitch. And also you can put it on most of the under armor items, not like under armor, you know, like Nike and under armor, but the armor that goes underneath your, you know, actual protective armor. So for example, the vault suit or, you know, some kind of outfit that you can find out in the world, it will work on those. And it's very, very useful on those items. That's pretty much the intended purpose of this armor mod. Personally, I think this is a must have for almost every single playthrough. If you're actually planning to play with a character for more than 10 to, you know, 20 hours, if you're actually trying to do a lot, get a lot done, go with a certain faction, you can get the ballistic weave no matter what. And so I think it's pretty much an essential item in the game. And that's why I wanted to share it with you guys. So I'd like to know after watching this video, will you go out and get the ballistic weave? It does require a little bit of a time, you know, commitment, but it's totally worth it in the end. Share all of your thoughts in the comments below. All right, guys, today I showed you how to get the Ballistic Weave Armor Mod in Fallout 4. And next time we will cover more Fallout on my channel. So stay tuned for more Fallout 4 tips and tricks videos. And if you learned something new, remember to hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe for more unique weapon guides, build guides, and general tips and tricks videos. Talk to you guys next time. Peace.